Each year, we spend over 500 hours in our cars, so having a good stereo to help us pass the time is essential. My aim today is to help you improve your car's stereo on a budget. But first, to hear just how good things can sound, I've lined up a listening test of three of the finest car hi-fis in existence. Audi versus Bentley versus Jaguar. But to throw a spanner in the works and to make it a really true test, I'm going to be wearing this, a blindfold. Genius. You're not taking me to some dirty rave, are you? The blindfold will ensure that I judge each stereo purely on its sound, without any influence by brand or price tag. Right, cue the music. The first car was the Audi A8, complete with the optional five grand hi-fi from Danish firm Bang & Olufsen. Yeah, it's a pretty nice sound. It's a little bit thin for me, a little bit overly bright at the, at the top end, a little bit too harsh, too noisy. The deep notes just feel a bit too far away. Just wasn't warm and rounded sound. This just sounds like someone shouting at me. Now, amazingly, 400 hours, apparently, they, uh, they took to tune that system. I think they could have done with another 50 as well. It seems that the sound of the most powerful system here lacks polish. No, I've had enough of that. Next was the Bentley. That's oh, a convertible. Its stereo is all about finesse, and it's made by British company Name. It's 250 watts down on the Audi, but power isn't everything. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's quite a bit better, actually. It's a big jump up from, um, from car one. Tight bass, it's easier to listen to, it's, uh, it's warmer, it's a richer sound. It's a really enjoyable, involving, rhythmical sound. Much better. Yeah, this is good. We like this. Finally, the Jaguar, with a hi-fi made by Brits, Bowers and Wilkins. This system is all about size, with a staggering 20 speakers. Certain things I liked about it, certain things I didn't like about it. Firstly, I can hear the doors rattling. The, the base units were in the door. There was just a bit of vibration. It didn't feel like it was stiff, so it was, it was kind of... There was a bit of resonance there. There's plenty of power there. And actually, it feels a little... It sounds a little richer in the mid-range compared with car one. I quite liked it. It's not as harsh in the top notes. It's still quite bright, this, though. So, the conclusion. Pretty clear-cut the top end. Bentley was miles in front with the name system. And then the other two were quite close, but second was the Jaguar with the Bowers and Wilkins system ahead of the B&O.